Anthropomorphosis, it's too dark, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. So, so when I got this bone marrow into my mouth, um, let us say like a lightning strike into my head, it straight away reminded me um, of the texture and the taste and the fattiness and the jelliness um, of the brain. It doesn't taste the same, but whatever. I mean, just something reminded me of this. And, and then I thought kind of like um, the muscles are attached to the bone, right? And the bone um, marrow produces the new blood, right? So if you were to have your muscle memory functioning well, then you obviously need a good blood flow and people who exercise and so on and so on know that of course basically during exercising what you're doing literally is just you know getting there more and better blood flow through those muscles and basically that's all you do and then you just get stronger and better so right and the stronger and better is straight away connected to the muscle memory because that's what muscle memory is it is basically getting stronger and better and it's usually used uh, connected with sport science you know you practice your punch and you practice your kick and you practice your 200 meter sprint and all of this goes basically as muscle memory and um, when I thought about this I also thought about the drawings that I just showed you in part one that those drawings is basically nothing else but muscle memory because like it's they do this they perform this action bam 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 I start with the eyes I do the nose and so on I know I start with the chin but <laughs> um, yeah so the next thing so it's, 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 it's because of this I mean I don't know you, you of course I don't know how many people uh, ever ate brain and then everything within a week so it's not like a super crystal clear thing that you can walks were not super scientific whatever but to me it's like kind of i mean i can taste it i can feel it so that's why uh now the next super important thing is um, that when i researched tor yeah first of all it's it's like always the same thing you you can't really find anything in the articles on wikipedia and elsewhere are so short that i always and through other research news like you know all that stuff that really matters is completely hidden and there's like zero to nothing um, to be found about this but when it comes down to you know Kim Kardashian's underwear you will find 10 million insta pics and 10 million whatever shits and you know but there's basically nothing on the godfather there's nothing on the sun and there's like nothing you have to fucking dig really deep which as I say always then means it goes into the right direction so um, I researched that Tor has red hair so that's why all those pictures that I showed you um, imagine those with Tor having red hair you know and like I said, due to the lack of this information and all of this, I was researching half in German and half in English. And as I always do, it's just intuition, right? I just type something, it was hair, red, tor, beard. But in German. And then there was a book and um, this author was saying something like the connection of tor to a fox which then at the very end of the research, this was in the next day's research, how I just like Fox and um, yeah, Naruto fans or anime fans who know Naruto, there's the Fox. The Fox is the nine-tailed beast. This is a reference to the nine worlds. And this, uh, those nine tails means that the beast has achieved immortality. You know, thinking about Fox, Ox, if you know. And the next eight-tailed beast is an ox. So anyway, this is just a small crazy side story. And then he goes like um, as to why Thor 
was connected to the fox and it was like a symbol or icon for him but it was left out throughout history um, I mean in nature if you would think about Thor and like people having red hair the next closest thing would be a fox you know a red fox and when you research the fox the animal itself I was always wondering about like what is it is it a cat or a dog and it is a dog with the behavior of a cat it also can uh, thrive on a vegetarian diet you know super crazy it's like a super common animal it's basically everywhere in the world it can live in urban areas and in German in German, uh, the fox, uh, the, f the fox is um, said to be a super smart animal. And um, the most interesting thing is that due to this red hair and everything, after the Christians took uh, took everything over, uh, Thor's red hair was the reason why the devil was attributed the color red. Yeah. Now, I already suspected this since, I don't know, since a couple of months, half a year, whatever, that Jesus is the con man for Thor. Because if you're a Jesus fanboy, then what's gonna happen, right? You're gonna uh, subconsciously start thinking that anything connected to a hammer because that's what you need to nail the superhero is bad right which then with this whole devil thing makes super sense uh, another interesting thing was before I left Germany there was a woman um, in my Facebook friends list um, this was a super mistake something like super random uh, she said she found out that the actual color attributed to the devil is green You know, it's not red Which I didn't pay any attention to because I thought like yeah, okay, even if what right But with Thor and the red hat now makes even more and more sense and like everything is green now green energy and green this and green that you know like all this trash So The way I think this con job was made like I said, the subconscious, the hammer is bad. Uh, then when I showed you this picture number one, uh, the, this picture in part number one of um, of when I drew it, I thought like it's Jesus, you know, because Jesus supposedly also had a beard and a little bit longer hair, whatever. So the way this happened is they just basically took Thor, <laughs> they, they downsized him in muscle mass, obviously they dyed his hair from red into this common you know into this common brown and then they completely reversed the psychology that's what they always do right it's always reverse programming it's always reverse programming when this shot is absolute trash for you they'll tell you that this is the only thing and if you don't get it you're gonna die right so if you think about this now I mean, this is just epic. I mean, <laughs> they they show you Thor in those Marvel movies, right? Because they have to, they have to tell you, they have to show you, they have to tell you the truth. They don't have to tell you the full truth, but we all know how much truth is um, hidden in plain sight in those movies. Right? Then one of the obviously fake things is the blonde hair, uh, and yeah, well, they're all transgender. And this. So, um, imagine Jesus was the hero of those movies, right? So Jesus would pray the shit out of the enemy and would, I don't know, forgive everything till the victory is achieved, right? I mean, now, now, like I said, I mean, 2,000 years ago, Thor, you must imagine, is described as a as a man, as a god, 
uh, with a very short temper and with this kind of we don't um, we don't how to say uh, we don't how to say uh, we don't negotiate with terrorists that's the thing so we don't negotiate with terrorists we take our hammer crush a skull and then story done basically the natural way in in any tribe pack or anything you know if there's a problem then the two strongest gonna deal with this in a violent way and then you know somebody lying gonna be laying dead on the ground or not but will be severely damaged and that's that's the way basically leadership works and yeah, always did work and always will work. And this was, Thor was also um, like the most commonly worshipped god, you know. He was way more worshipped than Freya and Odin. So he was uh, the common symbol for manhood and a great warrior and all this, you know. So this was the superhero back then. You know, this was this was the idol of every little boy, every every man, and so on and so on. Just take the hammer, crack the skull, and no more, no more trash talk. And today you have just like, and if he uh, slaps one cheek, uh, then just give him the other. You know, like the exact opposite. You know, they they, they just everything upside down. <laughs>